Good afternoon. My name is Sonia Chang Diaz, and I'm very proud and privileged to represent the Second Suffolk District here in Boston, where we are standing today. We're at the Urban League uh, Young Professionals Network Voter Engagement Barbecue, which is a great place to talk, take a minute out to talk about criminal justice reform because um, you know, we're urging people to show up at the polls, make sure that they, they use that right and that responsibility uh, of the ballot in November. But even after elections are over, it's critical that people stay plugged in and help us you know, keep pushing and keep pushing um, once people get elected and into office for them to do the right thing when it comes to criminal justice reform. This is a huge issue that impacts our communities uh, on, you know, on, on all levels. Right? I talk constantly uh, to folks who have come out from incarceration and are trying um, to get right, to do right, to become contributing members of their communities, of their families, and all the barriers that they face, whether it's a quarry uh, that's following them around or uh, just the you know, lack of training, lack of education that got them into trouble in the first place or that you know, sort of pushed them on the wrong path in the first place. So we need to make sure that we are helping people uh, get back on a positive path, but also do prevention work. Uh, and this is that's making that connection is one of the things that legislation that I'm focused on called the Justice Reinvestment Act, which is a bill that I filed that's comprehensive criminal justice reform looking at uh, changing our sentencing laws to stop the mass incarceration of our population uh, and take the money that we save from locking up fewer people for a less amount of time and take that money and put it back into re-entry and put it into prevention so that people aren't even getting involved in the criminal justice system in the first place. And a couple of stats that inform my work on this. One is that about 70%, 70 percent, 70 percent, that's 70, right, not 17 percent, 70 percent of the people that are locked up in Massachusetts have never graduated from high school. So just imagine if we could you know, even cut that number in half, how that would change the nature of our, our, of our uh, criminal justice system, how much we're spending there. And then the other number that's important to remember is that more than 90% of folks who are doing time uh, in our jails and our prisons in Massachusetts are coming back to our neighborhoods. They are coming back to our communities. And so we are not doing anyone right. We don't prepare those individuals to re-enter into the community in a positive way.